A warm welcome on what is a perfect day to watch football. My name's Guy Mowbray and alongside me is Sue Smith for commentary. And a live game from the Premier League on the way. It's Sheffield United versus Arsenal. Thanks, Guy. Well, both managers will be reminding the players that it's important to get off to a quick start, really attack the opposition and put them on the back foot from the off. Hopefully we'll get a good game. 16, Oliver Norwood. This is the Sheffield United lineup. Yeah, and it looks like a 5 3 2 to me. With this, I'm sure they'll be looking to make it difficult for their opponent to break them down. It's key that the wing backs get forward to support the attacks and provide the width. Certainly a good job that they're fit, though, getting up and down that line. This is how Arsenal line up. Ben White plays with Alexander Zinchenko as fullbacks. Martin Erdegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in the centre of midfield. And the main man leading the attack is Gabriel Jesus. Thank you, Bramall Lane. Enjoy the game. First kick of the ball, and we're away. Rice. Here's Zinchenko. Declan Rice. Nice and easy, this. Just staying patient. Havertz. A turnaround in possession. Excellent positioning. Hamer. Souza. There's a sense of real urgency to this attack. And stopped in their tracks with a change in possession. Havertz. Martinelli. Oh, they've lost it. The attack is over. No time to dwell on the ball. And it's back with Fodderingham. It's a challenge that's brought a whistle and a free kick. Good pass. Would the owner of the silver hatchback with the license plate GR55JKK please contact the nearest security guard? Thank you. Havertz. On to Odegaard. Arsenal moving the ball forward with purpose. Having a try. Erdegaard. Played to Martinelli. Jesus. Still all square. Can they make this pressure count? A chance yet to appear. And he's won the ball to stop the goal. Well, surely they need to play a bit higher up than they are doing here. 
Rice. Erdegaard. Struggling to keep the ball there. And the referee's whistle brings the first 45 minutes to a close. And there's the restart. Off we go again. Well, it did look promising, but threat averted. Kai Havertz. On to Rice. Making good progress here. And that's a shame for them, nothing doing. That's going to be a free kick, and in a promising position too. Goes for goal! Off the upright! It's broken down and it had looked promising. Oh, that wasn't far away, was it? They do well to create the chance. They just couldn't quite finish it off there. Erdegaard to take the lead. Stopped at the last. Chances don't come better. Coming off the pitch. Number 29, Kai Havertz, to be replaced by number 20, Jorginho. Hamer. Brereton Diaz. This is a lovely spell of possession. Arsenal come away with the ball. Keep going, says the referee. Advantage. Oh, good ball in behind. Oh, I think he went too soon. Yeah, he did. He's delayed and delayed, and you can only hold your run for so long. That's why the flag's gone up. Hard work pays off. They won the ball. Erdegaard to take the lead. It's a breakthrough at long, long last. Well, if we look at this again, what a ball this is. The weight of pass is just right to set up the opportunity. And what a finish. He goes for power. It was never in doubt. He just looks so confident running through. And the game restarts with very little time left for any more drama. This is a positive move as they seek that equaliser. Players waiting in the centre. And that's crossed the line. Goal kick. A 
Well, not long to go until the end now. And the hosts on score, at least, second best. Well, they'll believe that they can get an equaliser here. They've been pushing. But sometimes you just have to go long, feed off the scraps and hope it falls for you. We'll have a go here. And the keeper makes the save. And really, we shouldn't have expected anything else. Corner kick played in, and the corner comes to nothing. Oh, worth a shot. Great defending. Well, that brings the match to a close. A frustrating day for the fans in attendance, and it's three points dropped. Well, they were just a bit off it today, weren't they? Sometimes that happens. They need to reflect and learn from it, and then look to bounce back in the next game. Well, we've seen the usual assured and proficient display from Jorginho in this game. How would you rate him, Sue? Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.